While virtually invisible to the naked eye, the effects nematodes have on crops can easily be seen. These parasitic roundworms are found in the soil and can make waste of a crop in short time if they exist in high concentrations. The vast majority of nematodes uh, damage crops by feeding on the root system, and this prevents the plants from accessing water and nutrients. The two most common nematodes in Louisiana are the reniform and southern root knot. A third species, the guava root knot, has been found twice in Louisiana. If it becomes established, this nematode could cause serious issues. We do not have a lot of management tactics like we have for some of these other nematode species. We don't have any resistant varieties. We don't really know if any of the nematicides that we have available will work for this nematode. The simplest way to determine how many nematodes are present is to collect a soil sample and have it analyzed. You need to go out and sample soil from your field and send it to a diagnostic lab. What you're going to get back is a whole bunch of numbers of which nematode species you have and in what density. Because nematodes feed on the roots of plants, it can turn sweet potatoes into an unmarketable product. The root knot nematode, it causes deformation of your roots, and that's what you're trying to sell as a sweet potato grower. Watson and a graduate student were planting sweet potatoes as part of a study to determine the effectiveness of nematicides. Things like sweet potato, we have a whole suite of nematicides that we can use, and this is a lot of the research that we're doing these days is evaluating these different uh, options. Watson says using corn as a rotation crop can reduce the number of reniform nematodes if they are a major problem. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.